Hello friends, how are you? I hope you all are fine. Our today's video we have some different types of animals and we have some lizards so let's meet all of them. Let's start the video. Our first animal is a spider. Spiders have four pairs of legs. The legs may have claws at the tip. A few species use the first pair of legs as feelers to find prey. And the second animal is ladybug. Ladybugs are also known as lady beetles or ladybird beetles. They are considered beneficial as they eat other plant eating insects. And the next animal is crocodile. Crocodiles are a type of animal called a reptile, meaning they have cold blood, lay eggs and are covered in scales. They are very large animals and can grow to be 2000 pounds. Our next animal is crab. Crabs are related to insects and spiders, but they have more legs than their creepy crawly cousins. Crabs have 10 legs including their walking legs and their claws. And the next animal is ant. Ants don't have lungs, air enters and leaves through tiny holes all over their body. When ants fight, it is usually to the death. Our next animal is beetle. Adult beetles have two sets of wings. Female beetles usually lay dozens or hundreds of eggs. Most beetles only live for a year. And our next animal is red-head lizard. Agama from Thranan Tongo meaning lizard is a genus of small to moderate sized, long-tailed, insectivorous old world lizards. The genus Agama includes at least 37 species in Africa, especially Sub-Saharan Africa. Our next animal is Iguana. Iguanas are herbivorous meaning they eat plants and vegetation. Specifically they are folivores meaning they like to feed on leaves.
Our next animal is butterfly. A butterfly is an insect. Butterflies have four wings and they cannot hear. Our next animal is mantis. A praying mantis is an insect with long, spiky front legs that fold up like it's praying, which is how it got its name. It has many eyes with great eyesight. Our next animal is weevil. There are over 80,000 species of true weevils belonging to the Carcinidae family. Weevils have long snouts. Our next animal is a scorpion. Scorpions are small animals with a curved tail that can deliver a poisonous sting. Of the 1,400 species or kinds of scorpion, about 25 can kill people with their poison. Our next animal is lobster. Lobsters hide among rocks on the ocean floor during the day. At night they crawl around looking for fish, crabs and clams. Lobsters also eat plants and dead animals. Our next animal is Jackson's Chameleon. Jackson's Chameleons usually mate in summer. They are viviparous and give birth to live young. Females give birth to 8 to 30 young after the gestation period that lasts around 5 to 6 months. Our fourth last animal is horsefly. The horsefly's bite is not only painful but can spread diseases such as anthrax. A horsefly larnava has a siphon at the end of its body that allows it to breathe air if it lives in water. Our third last animal is brown anola. The brown anola, Anolis sagri, also known commonly as the Bahaman anol or Dila sagras anol, is a species of lizard in the family Dactyloid. 
This species is native to Cuba and Bahamas. And our second last animal is Armadillo Gerdite Lizard. Armadillo Gerdite Lizard possess an uncommon anti-predator adaptation in which they take their tail in their mouth and roll into a ball when frightened. And the last animal is Iguana. Iguanas mostly consume vines and live from trees, but they also sometimes eat some fruits and flowers. <laughs> 